up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now. We all have to make sure nothing happens to him. Woody, we have a situation. I am not a toy. I was made for soup, salad, maybe chili, and then the trash. Freedom! Buzz, we've got to get Forky. The permit. What is up guys, Kid Critic is back with another review and this review is on the highly anticipated animated film Toy Story 4 which is directed by Josh Cooley and it stars Tom Hanks and Tim Allen and it's about Woody, Buzz Lightyear and the rest of the gang embark on a road trip with Bonnie and a new toy named Forky. Oh yeah. The adventurous journey turns into an unexpected reunion <gasps> as Woody's slight detour leads him to his long lost friend Bo Peep. No. As Woody and Bo discuss the old days, they soon start to realize that their worlds apart when it comes to what they want from life as a toy. Now with all that out of the way, Joker, start this review for us. And here we go. Now look, I was as skeptical as anyone when they announced the Toy Story 4 because I thought the ending to Toy Story 3 was just Perfect. I just loved the ending so much. I was like, we, we just don't need another one. But something that I was like, oh, that's kind of true when they came out and said that was the end of Andy's story. That wasn't the end of Woody's story. And I kind of like analyzed that. And at the end, I was like, that's actually true. And I wasn't the biggest fan of the trailers. I thought they were okay at best. So going into this movie, I was like, all right, it's getting awesome reviews just like the first three did, and I love the original three. I'm such a huge Toy Story fan. They're so good. Oh, I don't even know which one of the best one is. I just view the trilogy as one. So going into Toy Story 4, I just hope this is not a Kingdom of the Crystal Skull situation. Oh, that can't be good at all. And coming out of the movie, it was not a Kingdom of the Crystal Skull situation. I adore Toy Story 4. It is just as good as the first three. It is a wonderful film and one of my favorite movies of the year to be honest. If not my favorite movie of the year. Now the first of my many pros with this movie is that the comedy is top notch and probably the best it's ever been in this franchise. With a mix of fantastic dramatic moments it probably had like some of the best dramatic moments again in the whole entire franchise. It just had to be on the floor rolling around in my tears because it was just... <sighs> no spoilers here, but... And if you love these films like I do, <laughs> expect to bring some tissues. This movie also introduced lots of new characters that I thought were all amazing and gotta start off with Doom Kaboom voiced by America's sweetheart Keanu Reeves and obviously he was an amazing character with brilliant comedic moments that were just enhanced by the beautiful voice of Keanu Reeves. I'm thinking I'm back! You also have two duos in here and Ducky and Bunny voiced by Key and Peel. They were amazing like I, I just want to see a movie with just those two characters because they were just amazing. Again great comedic moments I even see in the trailers like that one part where like the half of the stuffed animal was like cut off or something it was on the floor and they're like is that what we look like? In the inside? That was a great moment. And then another character that was introduced that goes by the name of Gabby Gabby that I believe was in the trailers. And at first I was like, I, is this gonna be like a throwaway character or something? But at the end of the movie, oh my goodness, what they did with her character was just like heart wrenching and heartwarming all at the same time. It was just like, wow. like. They do things with that character that is not predictable at all, and I ended up loving the character at the end. And you can't forget about Forky, I mean, come on, it's Forky, and I could only imagine how many Forkies are going to be made right now. I gotta admit, I was a little bit hesitant with this character, because his, in the trailers, this character didn't really grab me, I had to say. Like, I'm like, oh, he looks pretty cute, but I don't know if I'm like, oh my gosh, this character's great, or even enjoy the character. And... I, 
Again, I enjoyed the character. And why? Because he had brilliant comedic moments with great character moments and that made me and probably a whole bunch of other people enjoy the character. And you know what? If you want to make another movie about Forky, go ahead. As long as it's good. <laughs> Now, at the end of this movie, this is Woody's story and what they do with this character. Ugh. Man, no spoilers here. I'm just going to be brief on this one, but it's amazing. Like, oh my. And what made it better was his relationship with all the characters in this movie, like Buzz, like Jesse, like the new characters that are introduced in the whole Toy Story gang. Well, I was very excited to return, and they were great in this movie as they are in every other Toy Story movie. They don't get as much to do in this film, but they are still great because they are phenomenal characters. I feel like I've said characters a million times in this review. Characters, 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 characters. But at the end, Woody had a wonderful story in this movie. And look, Pixar was not lying when they said they found a great story to tell in this Toy Story franchise. There's a wonderful story full of comedic and emotional moments that were just top nods and amazing. Topped with fantastic characters like Woody, like Buzz, and the new toys they added in with the OG Toy Story gang. But again, at the end, this is Woody's story and this film had a fabulous conclusion to it that I'll say is up there with that Toy Story 3 conclusion, if not better. So with that said, guys, I mean, you can already tell, Toy Story 4 is a 5 out of 5 Fernies. That is right, go see it in theaters right now, especially if you're a Toy Story fan, or if you're not, you're still going to be crying on the floor by the end of this movie, because it is just that good. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe down below, as always, and, and tell me down in the comment section below, what did you think of Toy Story 4? I thought it was, it was just flat out brilliant. And as in every single Kid Critic video, make sure to look out for the next video or review. And peace.